Hi, today we're going to put a uh, bash plate on a Royal Enfield Meteor 350. Uh, this is um, a genuine Royal Enfield model I got from main dealer. Um, shame it's in silver really, I'd have liked to, it black to match the rest of the bike. I might spray it one day, but we'll see. What you need is you need a four millimeter Allen key, a uh, short one, I've got some other ones, we'll have a look. Uh, 14 mil spanner, open-ended, 17 mil spanner. I've got a ratchet and there's a four, 14 mil socket. We'll see how we go when we do it. First off, we've got to t loosen off the um, front engine mounting, which I've already done. As you can see, just below the horn, it's a long one. So I'm gonna take this out. Just gonna put some copperies on this bolt, uh, just to save it from seizing up when the water gets in and the corrosion one. And then you've got to take this bracket. So this bracket here is the one that is uh, attached by the uh, front engine mounting bolt. It goes on there like that, but we're gonna put this bracket onto the bike first. So that's what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna put this on there. There's a washer on the bolt. Uh, don't forget the, the washer on the, the head of the bolt. And then 17 mil nut. And um, see, this is why I hate these gloves, because I'm tied up. Bloody fingers. Right, so. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. 2,000 years later. I've just done that loosely for now. I'm going, we're going to put the other bracket in. This is the bracket that goes underneath, so it will be attached like so. Um, I've already loosened the bolt off underneath and it goes that way Yeah, because it's got the slots in there. You just get into the bolt like that Right, so we're gonna just put this under there um, It should go in between the head of the nut and the bolt it Just slides in like that and then I'm gonna pinch these bolts up this bolt up. I'm gonna uh, pinch this one up here I'm going to pinch that bolt up and get that in a nice square position. Um, I'll do it fairly tight just so I give a little bit of movement so I can get it in the right place. And when it's in the right place for that bracket, for the bash plate, I will tighten them up good and proper. So let me get the spanners. I just asked my uh, assistant, the cameraman, to give me a hand if he can do up that bolt. That'd be great because I can't reach around. I'll just hold this one. This bracket needs to be... Um, square flat level parallel to the ground if you would right we've done this bracket up it was a little bit more awkward than i thought um this bracket has to be as far back to the bike as it can because there's slots but that's okay you're better off holding the spanner on the nut and doing the bolt up really you should always do a nut up as opposed to the end of the bolt but if you do the nut up you'll find that this will try to splay out outwards um so that bracket's on now we're going to put the bash plate up right so you've got these little metal collets they go into the rubber in like that we're only going to just sling the front one on for now just push those in there like that this is where you need your four mil allen key i've got these lovely domed head stainless steel so we're just going to offer it up now Right, so if we offer this up, I'll just lay it there for a second. What we on there? Just that copper and poison mallet. Now, you might want an assistant. Could you offer that up, please, cameraman? So, a lot. My fancy light. This is why you, you can just leave this uh, bracket loose at the moment because it needs to be at an angle. I'll have to come around that. Oh, but well, let me try and do it this side. If you're, if you're liking our videos, please subscribe. 
so the camera is just holding the plate up for me but he's got it into the right place i believe don't forget your metal collets in there again there you go that's in i'm afraid i'm gonna have to move the cameraman out the way and uh, walk around and do the other side Right, I've done those two bolts underneath. I've done them quite tight, only hand tight. Now we're going to do up the centre bolt, uh, the the engine mounting bolt. So if the cameraman could hold the span of uh, the wrench on the on the fourteen mil, and I'm just going to do the seventeen mil up this side. This is all gone in the right place now because it, it's rigid from underneath. So if you leave this loose, it's easier to get these two bolts in because it's at an angle; it's not square this uh, front uh, mounting for the bash plate. Right, we've done the engine uh, mounting bolt up tight. I've just done the two underneath up tight and that's the last one there. Don't want to be too tight, but um, that's it complete. Um, it looks okay, doesn't it? But um, yeah, there's your engine plate, bash plate. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.